Welcome back guys to another video of Kuham Tutorials with Everything Design. In today's video you will discover the kitchen and bath tool which we will use to build a kitchen and you can follow along. In your project, go to Advanced Tool, select Kitchen and Bath to enter the tool. This page will appear and now we can start generating a kitchen. Under Public Catalog here, you will find all sorts of items used in a kitchen like cabinets, appliances, and more. We start with base cabinets first, select any base cabinet and drag to place. You can apply all sorts of changes to the cabinets, like changing dimensions and finishes, You can access it here on the right panel under Parameters. Under Style Replacement is where you choose the function of your cabinets and the style. Click on Carcass Style to replace the cabinet style, as you can see you have many options to fit your needs. Click on Carcass Material to change the material of your cabinet. I chose the wood finish so you can see how it looks. You can also change the door style for when you want to have a little design on the doors. Same for inner panels. The materials brush work here too, so you can simply select and apply finishes quickly. For hole replacement, I will show you how this works when we finish building, it basically applies the selected style to your kitchen to get a unified look. You can change the knobs too from here. That's it. Now we continue adding more cabinets. Don't forget to adjust the sizes so you can have a well-designed kitchen. I will add a tall cabinets here with oven. So if you end up having a gap like me, you can add a filler from the auxiliaries catalog. Select a panel and place it in the gap, then adjust dimensions. Easy, now we close the gap. Next is corner cabinets. I will select a simple one and make sure when you place it to put it away first and then adjust dimensions, otherwise it will attach on its own and sometimes that ends up looking weird and misplaced. Then 
That looks oaky to me. I will proceed with adding more cabinets. As you can see I just copied them because later I can change their function and maybe put a dishwasher here under the window. I will add a cabinet with drawers here. Time to add a fridge, go to kitchen appliances and section 7 has all the fridges. I will pick a double door one. This area here will become a coffee corner, so I will add more drawers. Now we are done with all the base cabinets. Let's add some upper ones. The depth of the upper cabinets is smaller than the lower one, so adjust that. I will add an open cabinet at the edge here. I guess that's it. You can add more cabinets if you want. Now we move on to the countertop. Press shift and select all the floor cabinets. It should look like this. At the top here select countertop, this page will appear and the counter area will be selected like this. On the right panel, you have your basic parameters. You can choose to have a front edge and change how it looks. You have every style and shape you might like. Next, you can choose to have a backsplash with different dimensions.
Next is the material, I always end up picking marble for some reason. I think that it is beautiful and artistic. If you are happy, click generate and your countertop will be generated in a second. Great, now I will show you how to finish it and generate a waterfall edge. To generate a waterfall edge like this, click on this manual drawing tool here at the top and the countertop will be highlighted like this. Select the edge where you want the waterfall effect to be and click on Generate Waterfall Edge. Select the edge line again and click on the brush that appears, as you can see a blue highlighted area appears. Click on Complete and click again on Start Generating. In few seconds, your waterfall edge is generated. I will show you other changes that you can make. At the top here, select countertop, then manual drawing. You can change how the corners look, just click on the corner dot, and on the right here you can choose how you want it to look. Adjust the scale and you will have curved smooth edges. You can also add more point if you want to control how the countertop is shaped. When you are done, click on Start Generating. Beautiful, right? If you don't like how the marble looks like, you can adjust the appearance, just click on it and on the right panel select Texture and in Painting Style select Stretch. You have a continuous texture now, you can choose how the design flows foo. Next I will show you how to hide the legs using footline, again from the top panel select footline, you can change the style and the material. I will use the same one as the countertop. Click generate, now the bottom of the cabinets is nice and finished. Next is crown molding, it basically adds a designed molding to the top cabinets. It looks nice, but I will choose a simpler design. I think we are all done with the styling, let's add a sink and a stove. Let's start with a sink first, 
click on Generate Sync. Choose a cabinet. I will choose this one facing the window. You can now pick a sync style. Configure a tap. Click Generate. The sink is now generated. Next, let's do the stove. Same thing, click Generate Stove. Choose a cabinet and pick a stove you like and press Generate. You can add a hood from the The Kitchen Appliances segment. Pick one and adjust to place. There you go, the kitchen is done. Now this tool allows you to adjust global parameters for the whole kitchen as demonstrated here. Lastly is Custom Smart Decor, it generates an entire decoration that fits your kitchen based on its shape. Choose the shape of your kitchen and it will automatically fill the space with different items. The kitchen is now fully equipped. You will find more stuff inside the cabinets, to open the cabinets just press Ctrl O to open and to close. It's cool right? All that is left is to render, the kitchen looks great and I'm certain you can create better designs. I guess that is everything that you need in a kitchen, I will show you how to add an island in another video because this one is already long. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have more questions or you need help with anything please don't hesitate to comment down below and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Thanks for watching.